Hi, I'm Elaf. Today we will discuss and troubleshoot OneDrive issue. Our focus would be on the recent announcement that we have been receiving from Microsoft about TLS 1.0 and 1.1 deprecation. This deprecation could lead to many issues on your production environment if you have not prepared yourself for it. We will discuss one of the errors that is caused because of this deprecation and hopefully resolve it for Windows 10 clients. So let's begin. While signing into OneDrive, you might receive an error stating there was a problem connecting to OneDrive. Check your internet connection, then try again. Followed by this error code. Microsoft has been planning and notifying about these changes for quite a while. You can find the details in Microsoft 365 Message Center if you have not checked yet. You can also refer to this ID to get more details. Now let's discuss about the cause of this issue. It is caused due to the deprecation of TLS 1.0 and 1.1 protocol by Microsoft, or if you have a bad internet. In order to fix this issue, make sure to enable TLS 1.2 protocol for your systems, clients, or server machines. If you have not done it yet, you can refer to this article and enable it. A quick fact about TLS 1.2 protocol is that it is enabled by default on Windows 10 and Windows Server 2012 and above. That includes your Windows Server 2016 and Windows Server 2019. Now, once you have enabled TLS 1.2 protocol on your systems, that should hopefully resolve your issue. But if it does not, then we can follow these steps to fix it. And before we follow this, we need to identify uh, number of users that are facing this issue, whether it is a specific user or maybe a bunch of users. So once we identify a, a set of users that are facing this issue, we can troubleshoot this issue for a specific user. Now, step number one, we, for a single user or for a specific user, we need to enable and set priority for cipher suits. We can do it either by PowerShell or by using GUI. With PowerShell, use the command get hyphen TLS cipher suit to check if cipher suits are enabled and proper priority is set on them. So they need to be set in this priority or in this order. If they are not set in this order or if they are not enabled on the system, we can do it so by using these four PowerShell commands. We can execute them one by one. If you're not familiar with PowerShell, that's not an issue. You can use this GUI tool, which is IIS Crypto. You can download it from this URL, install it, and then run it. Let's have a look at, at this tool. Once you uh, run the tool, it would look something like this. All we need to do is go to the second option over here, Cypher Suits, make sure to prioritize the four cipher suits in this order that is provided in the presentation and make sure they are enabled. If they are not, you can select the checkbox over here and to set the priority or to set the order, you can use these two buttons or the arrow keys. Once done, select the checkbox to reboot and click on apply. Now, once the system restarts, check if the issue is resolved for that specific user. If it resolves uh, the issue for that specific user, you can push the updates to the other users as well. Now, you can do that by using a GPO to configure TLS cipher suit order and push it across all your users. Once done, you can run a GP update space slash force command to push all the changes. Now, if this resolves the issue, well and good. If it doesn't, we will follow the next step. We need to check if TLS protocols is enabled in internet properties. So let's have a look at that. I'm back at my system. I'll go to start menu. I'll look for inetcpl.cpl. So uh, a new win window will pop up. 
for internet properties it is nothing but the same option that you will get inside internet explorers option once you're here go to the advanced tab under settings scroll down and look for tls 1.2 make sure this option is selected and the checkbox is selected because if it is not your onedrive won't work or maybe your office application that is using connected services like sharepoint or onedrive they will throw a different kind of error so be sure to select this apply and click on ok restart the device check if that fixes the issue now if that doesn't fix the issue we will move on to the next step it would be step number three and before we follow this you need to make sure you are connected to your organization's network and your device is also connected to your azure ad now once your device is connected to your azure ad and to your organization's network you can restart the device if that doesn't fix the issue unjoin your device and rejoin to azure ad using these two commands on a command prompt window once this is done, we will restart the device again. Once the device restarts and it loads up, it's a good practice to perform a OneDrive reset. You can use this command pasted in the run box and restart OneDrive. Once we try all these steps, it should hopefully resolve your issue. It has resolved almost 80% of the client's issue that I worked with. Thank you so much for watching the video. I'll be back with another one. Please subscribe our channel. Have a great day.